friends? Are you ready to take another journey with me through the Bible? Well, today our journey continues on the water. The title of God we will be looking at in our story is Master. A master is someone who is in charge and in control. The disciples often called Jesus Master, like in today's story. In Luke 8, 24, it says, And they went and woke him, saying, Master, Master, we are perishing. And do you know what he did? Well, why don't we find out? Are you ready for a boat ride? Then let's take a listen. Sometimes Jesus stayed so busy teaching and healing people that he and his disciples didn't even have time to sleep. Jesus was glad to help people in these ways, but sometimes he needed to rest. Near the end of one busy day, Jesus said to his disciples, Let's go across to the other side of the lake. So they all got into a boat, and soon Jesus fell asleep on a cushion at the back of the boat. After a while, a strong wind howled and churned up the waves on the lake, but Jesus didn't wake up. The waves are getting bigger, the disciples said to one another. Oh no, hold on, here comes a wave that's going to crash right on top of us. The big wave rocked the boat on its side and water began filling the boat. We're going to sink if this keeps up, the disciples yelled. We might drown, but Jesus still didn't wake up. Everywhere the disciples looked, giant waves were all they could see. The wind and the waves kept pounding the boat, but through it all, Jesus didn't wake up. Finally, some of the disciples went to the back of the boat where Jesus was still sleeping. Master, master, they cried, save us. Don't you care that we're going to drown? Jesus woke up. He saw the storm and his frightened friends, and he knew what to do. Wind, that's enough, he said. The wind stopped blowing. Peace, be still, Jesus said to the sea. The waves stopped crashing, and the water was calm. Jesus turned to his disciples. Why were you afraid? Where is your faith? The disciples didn't know how to answer him, but they said to one another, how amazing and wonderful Jesus is. Even the winds and the waves obey him. Do you like music? What's your favorite song? Have you ever heard an orchestra? In an orchestra, there are many different kinds of musical instruments. Violins, trombones, clarinets, drums, and lots more. Standing at the front of the orchestra is the conductor. All the musicians keep their eyes on the conductor and play their instruments the way he wants them to because the conductor is the master of the orchestra. He's the leader and he's in charge. One of Jesus' names in the Bible is Master. The disciples called Jesus that because he was their leader. But Jesus is also master over the world. Everything about creation, even the weather, must obey him. He's in charge. Jesus gave some of his authority to his 12 special disciples. He gave them instructions for teaching and healing, then sent them out to tell the people about the kingdom of God. One day, after his disciples returned, they had the most amazing picnic with a few thousand friends. Come back next week to hear more. Bye, friends. Dear God, thank you for Jesus. He is so good and powerful. I am glad he is in charge of the world. Amen.